Hello everybody, uh, I thought it was uh, time again to give you an update on uh, the most recent performances of the Department of Home Affairs here in South Africa. Today we have, um, what do we have? I think the 18th of September, um, so just uh, that you know when this update is made. Um, so the number one, I want to start with the good news and then I add maybe two uh, areas where the Department of Home Affairs is miserable failing at the moment. So number one, and the good news is they're really working on uh, the permanent residence backlog. Um, several of our clients, in particular in the category financial independence, but also in other categories, uh, retired, have been contacted by the Department of Home Affairs uh, um, to confirm their assets. So if you get emails from the Department of Home Affairs and you applied for permanent residence based on financial independence, uh, it's most likely correct. Um, however, there are there are um, sometimes when you when they say you need to pay the 120,000 application fee, you must really really be careful. There are fraudulent documents in in circulation. People have paid into the wrong accounts, so maybe verify the account with your bank. Um, it's usually an APSA account and not another bank. Um, so um, you know, or reach out to your immigration provider. Usually they also know if that's the correct amount. Okay, or, or account. So permanent residence, they're working on it things are moving so that's number one okay number two uh, is that unfortunately um, on the temporary residence side there is still considerably and terrible backlogs in quite a few categories yeah so number one category affected is the spousal category so typically South foreign spouses of South African citizens or permanent residence holders uh, we see still pending applications from one and a half years ago, one year ago. Um, I do think that's unacceptable. I do think that's, that's really uh, infringing the rights to earn a living, a unity of the families quite severely. And uh, I, 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 yeah, I can only explain it with a lack of political will to address this. Um, um, and it's, it's quite sad to see. However, the backlog, um, is not just limited to the spouses, it's also for instance to 11 2s, so short-term work visa extensions. And that is a, is, a, is a big practical challenge because we have lots of corporate clients who apply for an extension, and they're entitled to apply for an extension, and the outcome of the extension sometimes is only finished after the additional 90 days have expired. Uh, and that causes lots of problems, lots of questions, lots of uncertainty regarding the traveling. Um, so in short, we would strongly recommend that uh, the Department of Home Affairs uh, issues another concession um, like they have done in the past um, for pending temporary residence applications and this time explicitly include short-term work visas, so, so visitor visas, uh, and not exclude them like they did with the last concession. I do think that would help a lot and give a lot of legal certainty and also um, uh, calm a few nerves down. So that would be a good one. Another useful suggestion, in my opinion, would be uh, to ask VFS to introduce a system of cancelling uh, applications, because currently South Africa doesn't have an application option that you can cancel your pending application should you not need it anymore, right? I mean, there are people who don't want the visa anymore and then it sits in the, in the pipeline of home affairs. They have to adjudicate it. It takes resources, it takes time. Uh, for me, it doesn't really make sense. Um, um, so why don't they include an option on VFS to cancel a pending application? I think that would help to eliminate or alleviate the backlog at least a little bit. So these are the two practical suggestions at the end of this update. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.